everybody welcome back it's your boy mr green hands and today i'm at the allotment and i'm literally going to show you guys because i haven't showed you guys an update of what it ha what has been happening and today is a beautiful day in the uk so i said why not let me just give you guys an insight of what's happening and what have i been doing because there's some of the stuff i don't get a chance to show you guys let's go so what are you looking at first is this is the um, the bed that i did the uh, slightly and unfortunately disappointing dog please don't get him on nervous day um carrots because i literally just i was really hoping for more for them but they're not doing really great so even though i'm going to keep them in here i'm going to still um have other things planted around it and you know a bit disappointment but it's okay i've got a few things that i'm going to be planning because i got tons of carrots seeds carrots literally are everywhere for me i have loads of them and the gentlemen over there are shouting so they can get their buddy over to play some dominoes on a beautiful day like today so this is the snowball turnips that i kept and they're beautiful they're looking absolutely amazing i've kept them to go to seed so i have ton of seeds and i got tons of aphids as well i don't know if you guys can see let me see if i can get a better visual there you guys can get a nice focus in there aphids are all over the stems so i'm going to show a video of what i do when i have aphids or any sort of pest how i manage my pest and stuff like that whenever i'm gardening in the uk i've got some amazing onions at the back let me go around and show you them these are the onions that i planted from last time these are onions here they're not doing their best at the moment but it's okay you know they're not the best looking ones right now but it's okay i'm still going to use them in my cooking so it is what it is and maybe there's something i need to treat the soil a little bit i'm going to add some stuff to it and see if that can give it a boost on the things that i plant in here next time can actually have a better chance so that's the onions there but look at these onions these are the onions that i planted along with those ones there just now and these ones are doing absolutely fantastic they are growing really well look at the size of them they are literally getting ready to start to put on the size of the bulb at the bottom if you look closely at some of them you can see that they're starting to get really fat not in a, <laughs> in a disgraceful way but doing really well that's them right there these are the tomatoes that i did i've planted them they're starting to put on some new leaves so they're doing really well I can't wait to see them start to grow. I'm going to start to feed them soon because then once they start, I believe that once they start to root, give it about two or three days, maybe about a week full on to see if it can really start to get some progression before I start adding all that beautiful natural organic matter onto it and let it start to grow. But it's looking good. But these are not just the only tomatoes I have. I have more. And in the upcoming days, my garlic, which are here, just right there, they're starting to go yellow some of them have died down if you look on the floor you can see some of them there their necks already on the other ground so i really should have harvested them already but i'm gonna get that done this week and grab some of them are still there they you can't really see it because garlic really bulb underneath and obviously you know the stems are starting to turn yellow as i said it's really time to harvest so i'm gonna get these out and cross fingers and toes they are going to be amazing it's looking fantastic so i added these are some other onions that i did they're looking super amazing this onion is just beautiful right there i've got a white variety in the middle i only had a few of them so i stuck them in and they are doing fantastic look how beautiful they are they're starting to bulb as well but these ones are from another type of onion from last year i've got some old beetroot that i've left to go to seeds so i'm trying to get the seeds from that i'm going to keep that there but in this section you see there's nothing really much here but a few grass there's going to be some greeny vegetables in there so i can blend them in within there so these are the onion onions the onions are doing fantastic and in between that there is a pak choy that really wanted to come back from last year i didn't sow it at all didn't put any in there didn't think it would make it but we have a beautiful lovely looking one there absolutely amazing going forward i have started to turn this section into a no dig so i've set up the cardboard here i haven't put any compost or anything on top of it yet but in the time it's going to be happening soon excuse me this is a bed that's ready to go i've just i'm waiting for the other things to germinate a bit more before i stick it on these are my pumpkins i didn't get to show a lot of people about this i sold some pumpkins they're doing well they're going to be planted out soon as you can see they're going to start to get their third leaf coming through and the sun is really doing well for me for that this is the sweet potatoes these sweet potatoes and if you look closely you're going to see these beautiful things here and these are the okra that i sold 
in between them and they're doing fantastic at the same time look how they're adding new leaves and the sweet potato is starting to get some roots into the ground so it can start to grow and amazingly do well in these four pots that i have here these are some um absolutely amazing morrison berry potatoes that i sold in here my friend gave me them so i popped them in and i'm going to plant as many potatoes as i can because but i'm going to plant them at different different times so i do not need to harvest everything in one go i want to be harvesting like one week the other week the next week then i can actually harvest like that rather than harvesting everything and i have too much and i don't want anything to go to the waste in here is my watermelon it's doing okay it's looking a bit shaky but i've added some nicely chicken money on it to see if i can get a boost but the weather might have been the effect of that so i'm waiting to see if this is going to take off better but it's looking good it's okay it look like he wants to put some blossoms on it if you look closely there's some blossom in here i'm hoping that they will hold on but i just wanted to run a little bit more start take over the place a little bit more i stuck some onions in it and there's some <laughs> basically some potatoes that decided so you know what i'm gonna come back up anyway that's okay that's fine in there in this bed over here this is like a bed from last time from last year really so i purchased some sweet peppers and i popped them in with a hot pepper no idea what's happened they haven't really started to take off but i'm gonna keep one eye on them there are some new leaves on the top there as you can see because the bottom ones are not looking really well and this is a chili hot pot, hot pepper like a scotch bonnet pepper so look, i kept a few labels guys i'm not a big fan of labels you know how i am and these in these pots i've sold some other things as well i've added some some um oops, cilantro parsley basically we call it parsley in the uk you guys would call it cilantro and i can't remember what i sold in here i'm not gonna lie to you and say i remember but i have a tendency to do that i have a beautiful kale from last year that i kept and it's come back amazing and look at those beautiful leaves they are amazing i had an aphids issue but i treated that bad boy quickly because i didn't want to lose any of these with a beautiful natural organic pesticide it's a natural one so it's organic so hey does the job in here now i've got a beautiful yellow scotch bonnet pepper that's doing absolutely amazing and you can see the pellets of um chicken organic chicken manure so they're doing really well and this is a habanero but a very spicy hot one and it's really starting to get great rooting going because it started to put on so much more new leaves and we're looking forward to seeing that obviously my you guys know about my chocolate mint and this is another pepper i add in here and look guys it's starting to put peppers down there so i'm actually looking forward to having these guys come on it's great to see something starting to produce some and i think i think the yeah the habaneros are actually putting on some as well there's some blossoms in there that's coming through yes the scotchy bunny pepper is not doing the 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 pepper is not doing any flowering yet or producing any fruit but it's it's growing it's got some new leaves coming out through there so i'm happy in this pot here this is my pink celery it does take a while to um germinate so i'm hoping and praying every time i check on it my face goes oh it's not here yet but keeping high hopes with this one my thyme is looking amazing look at it guys it's blossomed and it's 10 times the size of it was last time when i planted it this is my herb bed i'm gonna have this literally my herb bed my oregano is just absolutely exploded like a dynamite boom got a bush in there let's get rid of that and it's just it's blended into the other one there's was two um oregano here but both of them has done the same thing as the time is starting to grow into each other but look at that absolutely fantastic this is obviously my sage my triple sage this is my beautiful sage as well i can't remember the name actually right now this is a triple color one because look at the coloring on that you've got your pinks your purples your cream your, like a creamy textures and your greens just absolutely amazing and you know my, my uh, lemon balm gotta have the lemon balm and as you go over here you're gonna have my amazing potatoes which are doing really well these are gonna be my early ones i'm gonna harvest can't wait to try them out even if they're petite or small i'm still going to be happy that they produce something and i've got some amazing onions as well right in front of me just to kind of keep the protection and i've got a nasturgeon that i transplanted recently i'm praying it will stay but i don't worry i have many nasturgeons growing elsewhere let me show you something amazing um this is my chocho -cho plant i can't remember the name of it and um uh, in other people's countries but chocho -cho, if you type it in google you're gonna find out what chocho -cho is it does um, was it a chota I can't, before i butcher it i will stick the 
the other name that people call it by on the side of this video so everybody can have an understanding this is a white greenish type variety and i'm going to have this growing all the way up here on the fence here and just literally take it over the whole place and literally just someone else's allotment it's really bushy it's really a pain in the butt for me i will have to go over here soon and cut this along the lines trim it back and get that out of the way i don't want too much seeds to come back up i showed you guys my pumpkin obviously but this is my amazing bed that i this is where i sow a lot of my things because i've had a lot of disasters at home doing a lot of sewing so i've used a garden bed as my sewing bed which has turned out to be absolutely mad and amazing because the soil is doing really well so let's get this net off so we can have i will definitely take the net off eventually so in here you got some beautiful nasturtiums these are fantastic because they do bring a lot of pollinators and it does help to protect your garden against pests and it does bring a lot of predators for pests which are you don't like and i don't like as well We're going down you've got in this section here is my um zucchinis they're doing really well they just popped up just recently and if you got some <laughs> i have no idea what that is next to my zucchini i have no idea what it is but i'm going to plant it or transplant it should i say i definitely know what this one is these are my cucumbers some of my cucumbers i'm trying to plant a lot of cucumbers this year next to my cucumbers are some beautiful kale i'm going to be planting a lot more kale this year than last time and i have two varieties here and they're looking really well they're really ready for going out into the main garden but i'm gonna let's get a little bit more strength then i can pick out the stronger ones out of it these are some tomatoes that i sold in this bed but i've up put them in here these are i can't remember the variety but i've up put them and just wanting to get a little bit of stronger rooting system before i stick them in the ground over there these are my amazing spinach so they're looking good they're gonna go out in about a week and a bit the more cucumbers along there and I have a bag of corn here just right next to them. And further, <laughs> I have more corn somewhere else, but I want to show you guys another day. It's going to be another day for the other corn. The corn is growing up really lovely. And I have a bag of tomatoes there. And obviously, I have some more onions. I even forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> but, what, but that's really it, guys. That's the update of where I'm at right now. There's some more projects I'm going to be doing, so I'm going to get a chance to show you. and and. I'm going to do a video, a couple of videos down here at the allotment and I want to, I really want everybody to be a part of my growing and to be a part of my community and be a part of what I'm doing. So there's going to be an option coming up maybe about the next couple of weeks. I have a bed that I'm going to be using and you're going to be able to tell me what would you like me to plant or transplant from this garden bed here or seed from this garden bed here, what you would like me to place in it and you guys can watch it grow because you will be able to choose what is there and you guys can choose what where i put it basically it's it's amazing so thank you guys for watching don't forget to like share and please drop a little comment but furthermore hit that like button it does help my channel to grow and look after yourself and please guys look off the planet it's your boy Rambo green hands i'll be seeing you guys soon god bless